I have a long form video on my YouTube that talks about this, but this user asks, any chance you can do a quick video on why sourcing a file instead of executing it directly would ignore a shebang. So we're talking about a bash script here in this case. You know, when you're in bash, you can source a file and it will execute all the stuff that's in that file. How is that different from just executing it directly? Well, that's a good question. First things first, if you're in a bash script and you execute another script, that will be a fork and exec. Your operating system will create a brand new process and that process will become the script that you're executing directly. So it'll have its own environment, it'll have its own set of variable, it'll have its own memory. So any modifications that are made there in memory will be dropped when that process is done. Once that's done executing, any of those changes will be gone. It can modify your file system, it can do a whole bunch of stuff, but it can't modify the RAM of the parent process that executed it. By contrast, if you source the file, that source file will run in the context of your current shell. So your question is, why would sourcing it directly ignore a shebang? So when you're saying, I want to source this file, you're telling Bash to open this file and read everything in it as though it was code. That's the important part. Source is a Bash keyword. When you source a file, you're telling Bash to read it. By contrast, when you execute the file, you're telling your kernel to execute it. Your kernel is not bash. Your kernel doesn't know how to execute things directly. It has to figure them out. And one of the first things it does is look at the beginning of the file to figure out how can I execute this? Does it have like some sort of elf header or does it have a shebang? So the kernel finds the shebang, it sees the shebang, and then it executes whatever is at the top of that shebang. So it you know, might be user bin and bash, might be bin bash, whatever. The shebang tells your kernel how to execute the program. So when you source a file, because source is built into bash, bash already knows it's bash code, you're telling bash it's bash code, that's why the shebang doesn't matter. So hopefully that answers your question.